Doherty's in Belly McElligot. And this is only just a selection of what is here. If you can, next September, September 2024, book your tickets for this place out of Dublin. There's a flight at 20 to 7 in the morning and into into um, Birmingham Airport. All right, guys, for those of you, the big fellas, this is, I suppose we call it a diet feeder, some kind of a feeder. Um, you pull down the silage with that arm above and top, and then you drive into the pit with this, and it feeds it back up here, back into the tub behind. And way behind in the corner, there's you can put it out the back right, or you can put it out the back left, and there's a place on it as well where you can put in an additive. Um, like, look at some of this stuff, like clay it on, and you can see in here. You feed it out the right, then or feed it out the left. It's just this is a serious ball of a machine. This is for the, I would say the fellow with 500 cattle plus, thousand cattle maybe. This is. Watch the video of it here working. Oh, that's a serious machine. It will also feed off the pit like he's going to do in there now. T R I O L I E T. Pyrolite. You get the idea, guys. I'd put away my Osmo. My Osmo give up on me, so my sincere apologies if the. The camera is a small bit shaky from here on in. You'll have to forgive me. What have we here? Sip. I never heard of sip before. Collection of moors, butterfly moors. Um, Swarters. Rakes, tethers, more swatters, moors, grass tethers. Never ever heard a sip before, but the machines looked apart. And Bassac, Bassac tractors made a go of it in Ireland about five years ago. Um, met them at the plowing match once, was talking to them, but never. Never came across a sign of them since. I think they have a Perkins engine and not too sure about the gearbox, but they're a nice tractor. I think they're South Korea. I think they're South Korea. They're a, a nice, nice little tractor. And um, look, I think they're up to about 100, and, I think they're up to 120, 130 horsepower. But they're, they're there. They probably are in Ireland. There's probably a few of them. But um, yeah. Here's the sip stand. I said we'd come over and we'd give a closer look at the Bassac tractors. Now as far as I know, like I said, I think they have a Perkins engine. Not a copy of a Perkins, but a, a real, a real Perkins. It's, as far as I know, I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Like they're just a nice, a nice, are they Turkish? Sorry, I think I said so, Korea. I think they're a Turkish tractor. I think they are. They're being sold, uh, there's a good few of them sold here in the UK, but not so many of them in um, in Ireland. Like I said, they were, did try them a couple of years ago in the plow match, but they weren't, they weren't, I don't think they ever kind of took off. As we all know, the Irish are very <sighs> green and blue and red. Nice small little Bassac, 550-72. And another one over there, a 5075. Like these are lovely tractor, okay. The cabin that looks a bit funny, it's a bit grey Fergusonist. But like uh, and they're a lovely tractor for a small farmer. Absolutely perfect tractor and probably not massive money as well. Like. Just wandering along here to the crone stand. 
and who's over here? OVL, I haven't a clue. OVL, Assy, Overlack, Plows, Harrows, all that. We'll look at them in a minute. We've got the Chrome Big Pack Baler with the trailer. She's stacked two or three in a row. Um, Chrome Front more. Chrome of a massive stand as well. All they have a, they have a big X and they have a big M below here. They have two big X's in fact. Easy Cut 320 CV. They have a Crone Rake. Actually, Crone Stand is probably a, as big, if not bigger, than um, McHale Stand. Crone 50 foot rake. I think Crone are German, are they? Crone Big Baylor. Some absolutely serious, serious gear here, lads. A big X, a big M450. Let's see, a big, a big X1180, a big M450. This is that easy floor 300. If anyone ever wanted to see the inside of a chopper box, but she she is she is a what a 630 very small thing. That's the blades that chop your silage when the silage comes in through the rollers. Comes in there, in through the pickup reed, out here, in through the knives. That thing is called a shear bar. And it cuts it into about that lint. And it goes back then into a blower and straight up the harvest. So straight up the chute out into the trailer. They're all, okay, they're, some of them, they're slightly varied in ideas, but they all basically have the, more or less the same idea. A 49.55 John Deere. Who's this with? She Grassman's? No, Grassman's is not a 49. Grassman's is a 46 or 47. Nice John Deere though. Very nice John Deere. The engine of your crown, she Mercedes engine. Here's your big M. I drove a big M for a fella for a couple of years with a big M1, and it was a serious machine to cut grass. It was just unbelievable, the amount of grass you could actually knock with that in one day. It was just frightening. It's 9.9 .9 meters working with, who can convert that to feet. I think the new ones are 30, 32 or 33 feet. Big crone wagon over in the corner. A big X1180. So you got a Mercedes engine as well, I can see. Cron Cron Teller, Cron Cron Cron. It's all Cron lads. That's a lovely machine. If anyone from Cron is watching this or anyone from wherever's watching this and you have a Cron, I would love to get a drive on it. I'll go to you, doesn't matter, contact me. I'll go to you. Oh, there's actually a maze header on this one. That's a big maze header, lads. Don't ask me what feet it is.
All right, guys, McCormack. McCormack tractors. McCormack have a massive history. I could talk about McCormack for probably the next half an hour. McCormack started out, of course, Cyrus McCormack. I suppose he is hailed as possibly the the leader of modern agriculture. Um, he's credited with the, I suppose, the reaper and binder and all that kind of stuff. Cyrus McCormack, why he's the man. Um, of course, McCormack, no, McCormack was part of Case, a part of CNH, I think it's called. But McCormack now is part, as far as I know of, it's part of Landini. And if you look at the front of the McCormack, you can see um, a slight similarity in the in the tractors. But I always kind of liked McCormack, even the, the, the we we'll say the MX version of the McCormack, the the 150s and all that. They're a nice, nice tractor. But of course, as far as I know, with about the last 10 or 15 years, they are now part of the. Um, might be that long. I could be wrong in saying that now. But they are part of the, the Landini family now. What else have we? A uh, selection of Unimogs. Um, Unimogs with leaf floors, Unimogs with everything. Um, the whole lot. Unimogs are uh, not so much a thing in Ireland, but definitely a big thing in the UK. Unimogs are, they have them. And they're doing the job, but an older Unimog down here. She's an Unimog 100. Is are Mercedes still making Unimogs? I know they still have the Unimog badge, but they sort off the tractor division. Do they still have the the Unimog division? You tell me. Of course, JCB's, JCB Fast Track, JCB have the, the record for the fastest tractor in the world. Um, fast Track with a loader, that's a serious looking tractor over there. That's a fantastic Fast Track looking tractor. With a quickie loader. That's a lovely looking tractor. Fast Track, they are slightly different color from the rest of them. Fast track narrow wheels and the sprayer boom in the back of it. Wandering on here out to the the McCarm or not the McCormack. The New Holland stand. New Holland of course. Lovely tractor again. Case IH. Or cases here as well below. Oh look at the the um what do I call it? The quad track. The of course New Holland and Case all part of the C and H group now which is part of Fiat. Fiat is the parent company. More JCBs over. I never saw that half of the JCB family. I was wondering did they bring any load and shovels or anything. But they did. Um, of course um, New Holland also have the the methane tractor. And the case 260 Puma. Now, I like Case tractors. I actually really do like Case. I like the look of Case. I like the new look of Case. I like the front of that Case. But oh my God, that is one of the ugliest tractors I have ever seen in my life. I'm very sorry to Case. My, my, my sincere apologies, but... Uh, I don't know. What was the... It looks like a fish. That's what it looks like. It looks like a fish. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to case, but it does look like a fish. It's a big tractor. She's a 715, so I presume she's 170, 115, or 715 horsepower. 115 horsepower, I was going to say. 115 horsepower, she wouldn't even start herself. And a 260 alongside it looks very, very small. How you doing guys? We're here on the Kubota stand. Um, Lama, um, a Kubota baler. Of course, Kubota have a big footprint in Ireland, the UK and Europe for a long, long time. They've been doing lawnmowers, push lawnmowers, um, 
robotic lawnmowers, the whole thing. But with the last five or six years, I got into the the big tractor market, and um, they're making an impression. Uh, Atkins and Cork are the are the agents for Kubota near me that I know of. Um, but look, they're, they're they're definitely a tractor to be to be watched. I think they're after teaming up lately with some crowd here in the UK, and there are you can get them now equipped, fully equipped with GPS and everything. Like they are a nice looking tractor. And do you know what? One thing I saw about them, they're a tidy, they're a short, they're a short, short little tractor. But like she's 173 horsepower, is she? An M7173 premium. Like that's a tidy, tidy little tractor. Could both have more tractors here. I didn't think that. I thought that's all they had. <coughs> they have a full range. They have the down as far as the small, small stuff. Like I said, you're already. I'm sorry if it's a bit shaky. My the gearbox went to my Osmo. Kubota digger. Kubota tractor. More Kubotas. I'd love to get a go on one of them. For a day at silage, a day at something. B R A in Branson. Never heard of Branson. YM tractors and Branson tractors are together. They're a nice little tractor actually. Alright guys, Lovells. Lovell tractors been introduced to Ireland very very recently. Only in, I would say in the last maybe 8, 12 months if that. Um, there's a fellow in Tipperary selling them. Do you know what? They're a nice, they're a nice, tidy looking tractor. I know absolutely nothing about them. I'm not even going to pretend I know something about them because I don't. But they they come as far as I know, load already. They're um, manual joysticks, manual spool valves, the whole lot, all ready for you. Um, maybe a bit cheaper than the, some of the normal stuff. And um, we have another brand here, Kota, Koti or K-I-O-T-I, -I, Coyote. Um, i seen these, these were here last year as well. Um, they never heard of them again, absolutely never heard of them until I saw them on YouTube last year on someone else's video here on Llama. But look, they're there, maybe they're a bit cheaper, maybe they're a, maybe they're a tractor for you, who knows? More of them here. I'd love to see your tractor. And of course we have Red Rock, another Irish company, down the very back of the hall. Um, Red Rock again have proven themselves time and time and time again to be absolutely bulletproof machines. Um, I drew silage a couple of years ago and I fell in here a Red Rock, an 18 foot Red Rock silage trailer and it was, it was actually a bulletproof machine. Um, but the only thing was with it, it was heavy. It was very, very, very heavy and um, I, I suppose, I, I remember getting stuck with it once but it had the very narrow super single wheels on it and um Alright guys, we're here at the Massey stand we have a very small Massey over there I think it's 17.55 and we have the the 9S425 four wheel drive I think they're unveiling it at this show I'm not a thousand percent too sure behind that we have the 7370 Massey Ferguson combine and we have an 8S305 does that mean it's 305 horsepower? I don't know, you tell me. And then, well, of course, we have next time we have Jaskins. And look at this for a machine. Slurry spreader, mock spreader, whatever you want to call it. Um, dribble bars in the back of it, like 
This is a serious machine, machine for you, Stephen. Um, she'd build up the tires, she'd do the whole lot, she'd do whatever you want. We have Joskins next to that. Joskins have, of course, well known for slurry equipment and dump trailers, as a, a dump trailer Joskins do, and she's she's a powered dump trailer. She's, um, there's, she's powered, she the back axle, the back wheels are powered in it. It's a savage trailer. This is more the massive stuff for 7S. And uh, what are we over there? We have a 6S. Like, beautiful equipment. All right, guys, that's it. We started at the fin stand. We're back to the fin stand. And um, give a like, give a subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next one. Hopefully, I'll put up a couple of shots over the next couple of weeks. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, guys, sorry about the, the shake in the camera, but what can we do? All right, we've loads planned. Keep it at it. Cheers, guys.